first one at Lord's. Now oh, that is such intended cup. Playing fine innings at the Mecca of cricket. The first time I saw Rahul was uh, way back in 1993-94. People were talking about Rahul Dravid. He had shown a lot of promise. And then Rahul got selected in 1996 to come to England. I was very nervous going out to bat. I think it was a good thing that England batted first. It gave me a couple of days to settle into the game. Uh, but yeah, I remember being extremely nervous going out bad. I batted number seven in those days. In my interview, I had, I had said, player to watch out for in future. I had named Rahul Dravid. So I just got off to start. I started feeling a little better about myself. I was pretty flat wicket. And, you know, I'm a little disappointed to walk away with 95. It would been lovely to score 100 here. You know, my first test match at Lords. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I think 95 felt like a victory as well. It felt, you know, it felt great and gave me a lot of confidence. They are wonderful cricketers. I mean, the, the track speaks uh, itself. You don't really have to say much. They were just uh, outstanding middle order batsmen. And that's why India, India did extremely well in the 90s, just because of those two. As, as, as a group, uh, we transformed Indian cricket, started to play well overseas and came back here again as Dravid as captain in 2007 and beating England after 25 years. That's an authentic shot, flayed it through the offside. They're talking about, you know, two of the greatest players to, or batsmen to have played the game. You know, Sachin, you know, having a, a hundred international hundreds. And that's a real class shot, there's nothing wrong with that ball. It's wonderful to watch. Rahul quite different, a lot more wristy, a lot more loose, I might say, with his with his backswing. Great placement. Oh, there's a good player for you. But Rahul uh, had also one other attribute, I think, his, his powers of concentration and application were just excellent. It was a great era for Indian cricket, match winners all around. And, and, the real, and the real test for us was to do well here in Australia, in Pakistan, away from the comfort zone, and I thought we did exceptionally well. And I think also they, both of them left a, a huge legacy. Um, and both of them left were very good examples for the youngsters that followed in the dressing room and youngsters around the world. Um, and I've, it was a great privilege to watch them bat because I've learned a lot from watching those two bat. I mean, when you walk into the visitors' dressing room, the first thing people do is look up at the board. To come here and play is always special. I, I've always enjoyed being here at Lords. Obviously, it means a lot to everyone. It means a lot to a lot of the players, and it, it meant a lot to me. So, the stage is set for the most prolific batsman of all time in Test cricket to see what he can do. 37 is his best score at Lords in his long and illustrious career. Somehow, you know, I, I couldn't get big runs. Out. Simple as that. Beautifully bowled. But I also see at the same time that, you know, some big names missing out there on the board. Could it be his last innings at Lords? Uh, well, that's, that's the way it is. The crowd's been on the edge of their seats and, and frankly, I think they will be for the rest of the day. It's a good contest. I was a lot more experienced than I was when I first came here. Oh, that's what he's been looking for as Dravid. Rifled it through extra cover to go to 98. So I, I probably knew a little bit better how to deal with that sort of nervousness and tension. Oh, certainly one here for Dravid. He'll sprint for two. He does sprint for two and the right arm and the batter raised to the sky because that is a magnificent Test Match 100. Well, like I said, it was a huge relief. It, was a, it, it felt like, you know, a, a, a burden had been lifted off my shoulders. His first one at Lord's. All in all, if I have to, you know, talk about Rahul as a batsman, I would say a complete package, a terrific number three batter for, for any side in the world. And, you know, at the end of that series, um, I was able to bring my uh, my two young boys to this ground and, and actually look up at that board and, and, and for them to see my name there, I think, you know, is, is a nice feeling. I thoroughly enjoyed batting with him and uh, the statistics say that we've played 146 test matches together, which is quite a bit. Little punch as if they're 
teenage boys together. And of course, enthusiasm is one of the reasons that they endure. You know, a lot of hours spent together in the middle and some amazing moments.